what is going on guys welcome to another destiny 2 video and today we're going to be taking a look at the gunslinger subclass for the hunter so if you all are familiar with the gunslinger from destiny 1 it was your super ability where you get three shots of your golden gun and it does massive damage to bosses strike bosses level bosses anything like that they've made a few modifications so I'm making this video to help you guys understand the new subclass and the way it works and everything, okay? So first thing you've got is your golden gun super ability. Summon a flaming pistol that disintegrates enemies with solar light. It binds to both right and left bumper or R1 and L1 for you PlayStation folk. Out here to the side, you've got Marksman's Dodge. So very similar to the Shade Step from the night stalker subclass from destiny one for the hunter and it binds to double tapping b when you use the ability you do dodge obviously and it reloads your weapons um i prefer this one over the other dodge ability just because it's a lot more convenient to get your weapons automatically reloaded next down here we have gambler's dodge so same thing binds to double tapping b and it recharges your melee abilities when you dodge with this one. Personally, my, I mean, if you're using the gunslinger, your melee ability is a throwing knife. So yes, you can recharge it, but it doesn't take too long for it to recharge. And it's a lot more convenient to use the marksman dodge to reload all your weapons. So up here, we've got the same three Grenades that we had before, you've got Trip Mine Grenade, so lays a trap. You've got Swarm Grenade, they're a little bit more effective, a little bit more deadly this time. And Incendiary Grenade, so grenade whose explosion catches enemies on fire. Haven't really played around with the Incendiary Grenade. I've played a little bit with the Trip Mine Grenade, but the Swarm Grenade in this game is definitely where it's at for PvE. I will take a look at the Trip Mine Grenade for PvP, but moving on. You got your jumps down here at the bottom. So you've got high jump, allows you to jump really high. Strafe jump gives you more directional control. And triple jump gives you three jumps. Most of the, or all three of these rather, are really the same height. It's just a matter of how you control it. So, moving on. You've got two different choices. You have the way of the sharpshooter. And you have the Way of the Outlaw. In the Way of the Outlaw tree, you have an explosive knife. So your throwing knife explodes shortly after impact. So you throw it, it explodes. Explosive knife. Pretty self-explanatory. On the second tier, you have the Chains of Woe. If you all are familiar with the original Gunslinger, the Chains of Woe. Precision kills... <clears throat> hmm. Sorry. Precision kills increase weapon reload speed for you and nearby allies. And it increases it dramatically. It is a very good perk to have. Deadshot. Not the DC anti-hero. No. <laughs> Significantly improves your ability to hit with the golden gun. It improves your accuracy with golden gun. Pretty simple. Next, and the last one on here is Six Shooter. If you all remember, the Acleophage Symbiote was an exotic helmet in Destiny 1 that allowed you to gain one more uh, shot with your Golden Gun. This ability lets you fire Golden Gun six times really quickly, and the only downside is it has a shorter duration. So if you're surrounded by enemies and you need them cleared out, use the Six Shooter, pop all six of them real quick, Get yourself some breathing room. Moving on to the way of the sharpshooter. First thing you will have is knife juggler. So throwing your knife, precision knife kills with this melee ability, immediately recharge it. So hit a drag or a thrall or an acolyte in the head or a scion, whatever. Hit any enemy in the head, get a kill with it. It instantly recharges your throwing knife. Next, you have Practice Makes Perfect. Enter a trance with each precision hit, reducing the cooldown of your super. 
So be aiming for those crit shots. Recharges your super faster. Crowd Pleaser enables precision damage with the golden gun. Precision hits with the golden gun generate orbs of light. So you don't even have to kill them. If you do, it generates more orbs, but precision hits generate orbs for your teammates. And it allows you to use precision damage. If you don't have this perk on, it does not enable precision damage for your golden gun. So critical shots won't be critical. They'll do normal damage. Lastly, we've got line them up. Precision hits with the golden gun increase its damage and extend its duration. So with precision hits act active, it has to be to use this tree and to use this perk. It will deal more damage and increase the duration of your golden gun in case you have two enemies, you take out two of them, and there's no one else around, but you don't want to waste that last shot, you have a few more seconds. Personally, I prefer the way of the sharpshooter tree. I have used the way of the outlaw tree in the past, mainly for the Chains of Woe perk, but I am... I much more prefer the way of the sharpshooter. This is how my skill tree looks on a normal basis. Uh, give it a try for yourself. If it works out for you guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If this video helps you all out at all, leave a like. Make sure you guys hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.